Yeah, Sibony, honestly, from professionalism to just hanging out friendship-wise is honestly one of the best people to be around. She just has a good energy about her. She used to write songs and she used to make me get on the songs with her. Um, she used to do all this type of dancing and all this interesting choreography. She's very career focused on her business and what she wants with her life. So uh, it's an inspiration. This is Inside the Creative Mind. My name is Sibony Jackson. My stage name is Sibony Quick Silver. Kezzy's is my brand. And they're both projects are my life's work. And it also came about around the pandemic, which was a time where a lot of people were searching for hope. We will be standing up Christmas Island as a quarantine area. Foreign nationals coming from China are now banned from entering the country. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. And that's how I latched on to my hope. So that's what Kezzy's is. Kezzy's is a brand. It is an expression. It's an extension of me. It came from developing my own personal emotional happy space. And within that happy space, I'm able to connect with clothing items. Yeah, hey, it's been a long time coming. Finally made it out to one of these events here at Sneaky Traveler in Chicago. Yeah, it's about to get started. My fashion inspiration and my fashion icon, my number one is Aaliyah. Anything Aaliyah put on her body, to me, I was just obsessed with, you know, her style. She represents the 90s. She represents the early 2000s. Also, somebody else would probably be Bow Wow, Lil Bow Wow at the time. You know, his BET Awards outfits, the leather top, leather shorts, leather Timberlands. I was just consumed by, completely consumed by. He looked like hip hop royalty, you know, and I wanted to indulge myself in that even at a very young age. That's when I really started noticing how hip hop and urban streetwear, how, how influential it was. So it became a part of my life. He's the first person to pronounce it right, can he? I like modeling the Kezi clothes just because they were just stylish, uh, something that's comfortable, easy to wear. Uh, you could honestly wear it anywhere. I felt like it was a nice alternative to clothing. My process in figuring out what items will be a part of that particular Kezi season, I go by the season. So if it's summer, I'm looking for t-shirts and shorts. If it's fall, I do flannels, hoodies, crew necks. There's always an avenue of thinking outside the box to see what type of item, what's going to be on the clothes. So I have to just think outside the box and try to piece things together that I feel look right and that are presentable for consumers. So, got the Kezi hat on, Kezi shirt, going this way. The Street Fighter shorts, and we got the girl that on. So, nothing too much. I'm obsessed with clothes. It's sick. So, I don't know how I can describe the feeling, but it's just like I'm leaving here with this. I don't care. I'm leaving here with it. Because it just gives me a feeling. It's a feeling like I can't live without this jersey. I can live without those shoes. I'm leaving here with this. I'm going to pay for it because I don't want to jail. But um, I don't know. It was just like a feeling that you get. Music and fashion 
go hand in hand because they're both about expression. So their avenues of inner findings or just figuring out who you are, I think that both avenues lead to figuring out who you are as a person. It don't take much, it ain't no thing. Better be clear when you say my name, boy, I'm on your way.